Thank you very much, uh, Joseph, the center director, uh, the chief guest, uh, representative of the patron, uh, the representative of the minister of education. Allow me to use uh, the director used a very good uh, introduction, recognition of the guests. So you allow me to borrow the salutations for all the guests who are here today. Uh, and I say, uh, good afternoon. Uh, good afternoon. It's okay. I'm just very excited to be here today and I'll make just a couple of remarks and maybe speak a bit more to the young men. And, and I did come with the number uh, of friends who are all star hands who are here. Uh, you know, Peter invited me to join and, and as a guest today. I was speaking to Peter Kenneth. Most of you know that he was an old star here many years here. He's an old friend of mine. And listening to the center director, I think two things I would like to say, uh, and as for the high achievers, you know, I know the motto of the school is not to language you. Am I right? The ambitions that we have seen over the COVID, and, and the center director mentioned about the challenges. Uh, and I think this just shows this new decade uh, within what we see today, that the world changes and transforms. And my, my challenge, and we'll continue to provide our support as KCB, as a group, to the young men uh, who are studying, because in the words uh, on Nelson Mandela many years ago, uh, I'm always reminded that education is, is the only way that I, who grew up in the Highlands, for instance, uh, can get an opportunity today to sit and lead the large organizations, which is the largest financial institutions in this part of the world. So education gives you, and, and Saraya as a center, for me, demonstrates what that vision of the founders was. But three challenges I will say to you, which I think we have some lessons that can help uh, young men, because sometimes the challenges and difficulties look beyond. And, and with technology today, and I'm happy to see the work that we're doing on, on, our, on our innovation center and our lab here, I wrote just three comments to encourage you, and some mentions, mentions, moments that can also reinforce what Senator Director spoke about, and, and allow me just to read for you three items. That I think in today, anyone else can raise up from anything. It's important to have that conviction that looking back, unless you're looking for insights, doesn't change the platform you have today as a young person. And really, anyone can recreate what they can become. Whether it is Peter going to speak today as an old boy of the school, uh, leading the largest institutions in this part of the world, and nothing is really permanent. And I always encourage young people that no one really is stuck. And, and because of social media and the challenges across the world, as long as you remain disciplined, uh, you know, Joseph spoke about discipline as quintessentially what is the overriding, you know, catalyst that changes what you want to achieve. And I'd rather say that you better be ruthless in your discipline, because that is what transforms and changes where you're going and what you will achieve. And what really matters for me to you is that you choose today. It's a, a, a very important day today, celebrating a 62nd Founders Day, and never look back. And for us, I will challenge and encourage that when I listen to three values and principles that uh, the rest of the rest of mentioned, I will say today perhaps consistency is not enough. You know, to lead an institution like ourselves, you know, we like to work with young people when they finish their Form 4s. We do have achievers in our program today. Uh, we do have many young people today. And we offer programs. We transition. Uh, so just what they'll be looking forward, we do provide apprenticeship to close to 200 young people when they finish their Form 4s, those who are going to universities. And I'd like to have conversations with you, Joseph, later on on how we can work with the students that are doing their Form 4s this year in the school. We also have programs that help the students go into university education. So that's another activities that we're going to be able to work uh, with yourselves. And I come here to commit our, our demonstrate our commitment and, and be able to work long term. I think what Challenge has shown us today for COVID is sometimes even our best plans. Now, even in our own institutions, we prepare a lot of aspects. We prepare for financial crisis across the world. We prepare for 
security challenges in our institutions. You know, we do modeling and simulations. But the center director, even for us as a large bank, we had never anticipated a viral attack. Yeah, and we've been affected. You know, we've lost a couple of staff members and we've had huge infections. But we are progressing and we are able to make progress going forward. And I would say for you, what I offer as KCB is a, perhaps a more long term partnership, which is what you look for. Uh, we were, spoke with you many times before. So I did come today uh, to commit that this year going forward, I think we want to work with the next 10 years. We will commit to 5 million shillings to the endowment fund every year for the next five years to continue to support and strengthen the school's effort to see beyond. And whatever more we can do, uh, because we do have a foundation which has scholars, we do have scholarships as well, uh, as a, con a commitment that we will stand with you. And finally, for the young ones, and those especially who are in this year, I like the challenge you've given yourselves for 10.5? 10 10 10.5, I got it right. I th if there's one institution that I will say that can stand to become the best and number one institutions is the class of 2022. And you have two classes this year. So, so I want to be sure that next year I will come back, if you invite me, to celebrate achievement of the ambition of 2022. Thank you very much, and I wish you all the very best. Back to you, Final Director.